All right. What is up, traders? What's up, tycoons? We're excited for today's video. Coming at you guys with a viewer request update on Morpheus Labs, ticker symbol MITX. All right. Now, MITX has come down to our key demand zone that we established in the last video update. Uh, you can see that we're trading below our year today anchored VWAP. We have an important trend line here we're going to pay attention to to see if we can potentially break out to the upside. We'll go over really everything that I'm looking at right now on Morpheus Labs in today's video. So be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. As always, the content provided on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. So please be sure to read through the full disclaimer. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you're ever interested in a one-on-one -on -one personal coaching session, I do those all the time. You can email me exactlytrades at gmail.com and we can work on scheduling a coaching session together. Now let's go ahead and head on over to TradingView and take a look at the chart. And so here we are taking a look at the chart. And in the last video, we established that we had this area of demand down here. We established our area of supply up here. And price action likes to be drawn towards these areas of liquidity. And we can see that we have gravitated back down towards our key demand zone down here. Now, there's a couple things that I like about it currently at the moment. We are doing a good job of holding the demand zone and potentially putting in a double bottom here with a bottom here. Okay, bottom here. You could even call this a triple bottom. Uh, we'll see what happens if price reaction uh, price reacts well to this level. But if we take a look at our RSI, remember, this is your relative strength index down here. This is going to measure the relative strength of a token, coin, you know, stock, whatever it is, at its given price. And we can see that we are creating a slight bullish divergence. Now, it's not super strong, but if you take a look here where we have these lows, right? So we have lows right here on the chart, and then we have lows right here on the chart. And we actually look at our RSI, you can see that we are in a very small but still an uptrend, right? I'll put the arrow on here actually so you guys can see it a little bit better. And you can see that we do have a slight uptrend heading in more of an upwards direction while price action has actually been going lower. So we're making these lower lows and we're not seeing the same thing in the price in the uh, relative strength index. We're seeing higher lows here. That's a simple term known as bullish divergence. And we're getting bullish divergence in our key demand zone with potentially, again, as we mentioned earlier, that double or triple bottom. Now, the key thing to remember is that the more times you test the level, the weaker it gets. So we're very close to breaking through our line in the sand here of, let me see, 0 0.005802. That's really our line in the sand, okay? If we break below there, there's a strong chance we're going to come back down and retest some of our previous lows and really, you know, be gravitating towards this, uh, you know, prior, this prior consolidation zone right here, right? And that would put us in about, uh, we look at the prices here, 0 0.004066, all the way down to about 0 0.003024. So you do need to be cautious, all right? And if you wanted to go long right here, you know, you could put a simple stop loss uh, just below our key demand zone, right? And then you would be targeting the upper range of the demand zone, okay? So you would be targeting something up here. So from a risk to reward standpoint, it's not a bad time. You can cut your losses quickly and accept those losses uh, rather than try and bag hold it and let it go all the way down here or something like that. Um, but to the upside, we do have to pay attention to this trend line here. We've rejected it once, twice over here. And if we come up a third time, that's going to be a key trend line we need to break out to make it towards the top of that demand zone. Now, preferably, we would look for a breakout retest and a push higher up to our 23.6% retracement level, which is going to be at 0 0.010949. That also falls in line very well with our year-to-date anchored VWAP. Now, big whales, institutions, all right, they love to buy and sell at the anchored VWAP. Okay, you can see over here, they it turned into a buy price, all right? And so they came down and they, you know, bought him here at the average volume weighted price right? We pushed up higher. And then here we consolidated and you can see that it actually turned into a selling point. And so now, you know, the bears have had control ever since we've really been underneath that year today anchored VWAP. Now this yellow line here, this is our month today anchored VWAP. And you can see basically the same thing, but just on a smaller scale. And you can see that the month today anchored VWAP has been a strong resistance. And this is where institutions and whales have been selling, right? They've been selling here, 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 uh, as well. So, you know, ultimately we're going to need to break out past our month anchored VWAP, then past this trend line here. And then we have the year today anchored VWAP up here. 
and our big resistance level at 0 0.01949. Those are the key levels of uh, you know resistance that I'm really paying attention to right now. Now, if we wanted to rally even more, and you know we start to go on another bullish cycle here, right above there we have 0 0.0141, 0 0.0167, 0 0.01933. We also have 0 0.0230, and then we have our overhead supply zone here of um. 0 0.024 all the way up to about 0 0.0277. So those are really all of the key levels that I'm looking at right now. Uh, if we pay attention to the MACD, one thing we would be looking for to support a bullish thesis would be a crossover to the upside, right? We would be looking for this red line to cross above the yellow line uh, and get back above this zero level on the MACD. Uh, that would be, you know, potentially a buy signal and show that, you know, maybe bulls are going to step in, buyers are going to take control and end up pushing this price action up higher towards that year today anchored view up and towards that key resistance level that we have. Now, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more. I do videos just like this every single week. And if you want to, don't forget I do those coaching sessions. You can always email me exactly trades at gmail.com for a one-on-one -on -one personal coaching session.